John the Baptist came neither eating bread nor drinking wine, and you said he was possessed by devils. Here I am, drinking and eating freely with you. No doubt you'll say I'm a glutton and a drinker. Friend of the tax collectors and the sinners. <laughs> oh, Rabbi, you do us an injustice. We respect your achievements, and we understand their importance. But to what extent are you prepared to accept our law? We hear that you heal the sick on the Sabbath. You want our people not to rest on the Sabbath? If one of you had a sheep and it fell into a pit on the Sabbath day, wouldn't you go and get it out? But God made the Sabbath for man, not man for the Sabbath. Oh, oh, we understand that. We understand what you're trying to say. But is it not confusing to the other people? We live by the law. If we accept the law to be ruled by exceptions, then we are lost. Today, if it hadn't been for the severity that we learned from Moses, we would not have our laws. We would not even have, we'd not even be a people any longer. But it is the, the excessive tolerance, the lack of rigidity in your teaching that has made us feel that this is a real danger. For all gives me security. It's a guide to my whole way of life. A uh, measure for judging this man is right and this man is wrong. But you should not judge. But you, as a son of Israel, know that we were chosen by God from all mankind to be the holy nation. And for this, he gave us our law, the Torah, which is the law of life. And we have to separate ourselves from the sinners and be pure and just. But who is just in the eyes of the Lord? What is the heart of the law? Hear, O Israel, thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, with all thy strength. This is the greatest commandment. You said well. You are not far from the kingdom of God, Joseph of Arimathea. But there is another commandment, no less great. You must love your neighbor as yourself. But who is my neighbor? No! no! Stop her! Stop! You can't come in! This is no place for the likes of you! What's the matter? Isn't she that woman? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yes, yes, it's her. She's defiling him. This is no place for you, woman. Come, leave quickly. Simon, sit down. But, Rabbi, you know what kind of a woman this is. Simon, please. Simon, when I came into your house, you didn't pour water over my feet, or kiss me in greeting, or anoint my head with oil. She has washed my feet with her tears, and dried them with her hair, and anointed them. Daughter, your sins, and I know they are many, are forgiven you because of the greatness of your love. Oh, God. Only God can forgive sins, no man. No.
Daughter. Take this ointment. And keep it for my burial. Go in peace.